once you've got your data in your material in the marking method set up, the next is to do a validation and verification of the IUID mark. Using a verifier, in truth, if we could go to that next screen. Using the verifier, uh, that's the tool that is just as important as your printing device. Once the label has been printed, it has to go through that validation and verification process. And what that does is it will check first off your data. Did you use a fully compliant character? Was it an alpha or numeric or dash or forward slash character made up in your part of serial number? Once the data has been checked, you're also looking for duplication. Did the list of data that you provided to your vendor, let's say that's producing these labels for you, did you duplicate anything? Because remember, IUID stands for Item Unique Identification. It's a unique identifier or a global license plate that's unique and specific to the asset that you're marking. So you shouldn't run into a situation where a UID label is being duplicated. The lone exception to that process in terms of duplicating a label you may have a very large asset where you may want to put more than one IUID label. And typically, to give you an example, would be a large storage facility, which would be considered an asset that you need an IUID label. You may want to put more than one on there. That's a rare extreme case, however, so you want to be careful of duplication. The data has now been validated. The second process using the verifier is the verification of the mark. And what we're doing here is we're measuring the quality of the printed mark against mill standard 130 and ISO standards. That has to meet a certain quality grade. And that grade has to be either an A or B. The verifier will give you that grade level based on the print of the mark. Once Dan, the, if, I, well, if, I if I could interject real quick. So in uh, all great points, Dan, um, but typically what I'll see in the field is customers will forget this whole process. Now, whether they're uh, purchasing a solution from us or looking at other vendors out there, when uh, customers uh, take a, a, a clean look at this, they always seem to forget that they have to do the verification. And that is an area where you could be audited on from the DCMA. Very well said, Sharif. Absolutely critical. Let's make the assumption that you outsource these labels with a vendor. If you were to go with A to B tracking, for example, when we supply you with your labels, we also supply you with a verification report of each individual label to show you that each label has gone through this process and that it has met the grade required for full compliance. Without a verification report, if you're being audited with the DCMA, they're going to, one, look for the label, and then they're going to ask you, well, how do I know that that label is meeting its full compliance? And the verification report is essentially your get-out-of-jail-free card. That tells the auditor that, okay, yes, this label has gone through verification and validation so that I know that the data that was used and the quality of the mark has met the full compliance requirement. Now, if you have an in-house solution where you're making the labels yourself, then your verifier should be set up right next to your output device, whatever you have, be it a thermal transfer printer or a laser, right next to that device should have your verifier so that as the labels come off the output device, you can immediately run them through as you see here in the picture, one label at a time, you go through that verification where that 2D data matrix barcode is scanned through the verifier, and the verifier will give you a report telling you, yes, it's met the standard, or no, it hasn't. Very, very important. It's quite frankly, a verifier is just as important as your printing device, because that's what's going to ensure the compliance of that label meeting the standard. 